What's up, YouTube? Well, we got a big day today. Two things. Uh, one, I promised you guys I would show a video of the how to on the bloins, the half blunt, half joints that I roll. Uh, two, in the two months that I've been making these videos, we've officially hit a thousand views. Just these couple of goofy little fucking videos that I do for you guys, we hit a thousand views in two months. So keep up the good fucking work, guys. You guys are all awesome. Anything you want to know, let me know. If you want to see some shit, let me know. I'm all about it. So, uh, first thing we'll show Swan Lightweights. These are the papers that came with the new Weed Star inline that we got. Really light looking papers, really, really thin. So, I took that, then uh, I rolled it back up just in case. But I rolled a couple of nice big old jibbers. You only need one, but I I like to have a backup just in case. The other thing you're going to need here, I love my fillies. You're going to need a, a Philly skin. I've got this one already uh, pre-split, pre-clean. I've been experimenting in a couple of different ways of rolling these blunts lately. Traditionally, what I'll do is I'll take a half the blunt wrap, and I'll wrap the bottom half of the joint with it. Lately I've been experimenting just putting a little bit on the on the very bottom. It makes like a stiffer mouthpiece so you don't get the pull through. It kind of acts like a filter mouthpiece. Uh, the other thing I've been doing is cutting little strips and just layering, almost zebra layer the joint down. And it actually makes the flavor change almost every hit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and squeeze both of these in here. We're doing good on time so I'm going to see how fast I can kick this out. Uh, I've got just a little pair of my trim scissors here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this uh, wrap in half, and then I'm going to take one of those halves and cut a couple stripes out of it real fast. Didn't want to do that part without you guys. So we're going to take it, we're going to call that half. First thing we'll do is we'll cut a couple of strips off this other side here. And we're not talking big strips, we're talking just little bitty. eighth quarter inch wide strip here, not big at all, and I'll do three of them here. There's two, there's three, you know what I'm going to do four just because I think they look fucking cool, and it's a nice little difference in the, the blunt here. Okay, so we've got one decent little piece and then four of these little tiny strips. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the, the skinnier of these two here. And you're only going to lick just a little bit along the edge here, I'll show you. Lick just a little bit inside the edge there. And you'll actually line it up with the end of the joint here. sure that that part sticks nice and good to the paper there. And then you'll lick a little bit on the inside ahead of it. And you roll it slowly and keep it lined up with the end. A little bit further each time. all the way around as you're spinning it and that helps it stick to itself. Quick once over with a little bit of spit to make sure it's all sticking to itself real nice. And that looks like it's going to make a tasty little filter on there. You don't want to mess with it too much once you get it on there because it will cause it to kind of slide off and get loose and stick to your fingers. Next you're going to put some of these strips on so you the same thing, you're just going to lick a little bit on the end. Stick it down. It doesn't have to be perfect because once you get it on there, you can adjust it a little bit. So 
check procedure, like a little bit ahead of where you're sticking it on so that way you can kind of see how you're doing. The great thing about doing this is that if you're off a little bit, you can kind of adjust it on the fly. Just got to be real gentle with it. Quick once over. Then lift to make sure it's all going to stick down to the paper. Probably didn't need to cut four because it looks like this is one to fit three. Right, we're running out of time, so I'm gonna stick this one fast here. Quick one over, a little bit of lick, just to make sure it's gonna stick good. Tip, a couple of blunt zebra stripes are going to change the flavor of that. We'll set that aside for right now and let that dry. We're going to smoke that in the next video. Now we're going to take the big guy here. This is a really firm, solid joint. I'm going to take the half here. Same procedure. We're going to lick our inside edge here. This is the actual end of the blunt, so it's a little bit thicker. You gotta put a little more spit on it. A little bit of spit on top to make sure it's holding the paper nice. I like to turn mine over and cheat a little bit. Like a little bit, roll it a little bit. Try and keep it lined up. Over. And since we had the uh, poor little one lonely striker, I'm going to stick this right on the end of it. That way the first hit tastes like blunt and the last hit will taste like blunt on this joint. Blunt, excuse me. There you go, and this one we've got a fat blunt end on it with a little blunt tipper. Then the other one we've got the uh, smaller blunt tip with the zebra stripes on it all the way down. So uh, we're just about out of time here, I think. Yeah, just about out of time, so we're going to call that good. Peace and pot. Stay educated, stay medicated, use your shit responsibly. We'll smoke you in the next one.